Hello, I'm Andy and welcome to my channel. Today's video is a vlog covering my trip to see the solar eclipse of August 21st, 2017. Our trip started out in Elk River, Minnesota and after three hours of driving we finally made it to the Iowa border. From home all the way to Des Moines, Iowa was interstate the complete way. Very easy driving, not much traffic. And then from Des Moines, Iowa to Sheraton, Iowa we took Highway 65. Another nice road, nothing too exciting happening thus far. Which is good. Right now, the weather for tomorrow is our only concern. Sticking with the nothing exciting theme, we stayed at the Royal Rest Motel. It was a nice clean room and had enough space on the floor for an air mattress, so we were able to fit seven people into it fairly comfortably. I did see my first ever praying mantis while we were in Iowa. That was pretty cool. On the morning of the eclipse, we got up at five in the morning and we were on the road by six. Our planned viewing destination was Carrollton, Missouri. It was 139 miles from where we stayed, and according to Google, it was going to take about two and a half hours to get there. On the way there, especially in northern Missouri, it was amazing how many Amish we had passed. And how nice the shoulders of the roads were in the areas the Amish were. And how there were no shoulders where the Amish were not. Well, we made it to our planned viewing destination, but the clouds aren't looking very promising. The clouds that are here look like they're moving out according to the radar, but it looks like more are forming and kind of just taking their place. Believe it or not, I'm standing on the intersection of County Road 324 and County Road 403. With the Missouri River, the direction we were just looking, and this berm along here for flood control, which is County Road 403, the top of the berm, and this is 324, looking straight towards that grove there. Josh was looking at the radar, we're looking at the clouds, we're thinking at this point that we're going to have to move. Even though this would have been a beautiful place to watch the eclipse from. So move we did. We moved east and south, stayed in the totalitarian zone, total, total zone, to, I don't even know how to say that. We stayed in the zone of totality, whatever. So as we headed south and east, we ended up in Jamestown, Missouri. It was about 90 miles from where we started. The roads that took us there, little bit sketchy absolutely no shoulders and there was you'd come around a corner here and all of a sudden there'd be a bridge that was only one lane wide and you'd hope nobody was coming at you it didn't seem like the safest roads in the world but i guess it's a little cheaper to build them that way hey we're here for the eclipse it i don't know it's about 20 percent covered we're somewhere southern missouri southeast missouri uh this is awesome The next hour went by in what felt like was about 15 minutes. We watched the sun slowly get eaten by the moon, tried taking pictures of it, really with not a whole lot of luck. Josh had some solar binoculars with, those were pretty cool to look through. The welding helmet probably gave you the best view, but technically isn't quite dark enough. As much fun as it was watching the eclipse progress, what I really came down for was to watch that last 1% progress. I could have watched an 80% eclipse from home. We're right at the edge of the clouds. Just a couple little ones, and then we have clear coming in behind it. We're 10 minutes to totality. Clouds all to the west and the north, but we, we drove far enough to see it. I don't know, we're at some kind of a gas station in, the, in Missouri. A bunch of other people. I'll look it at the sky. This is the best shot I got of the partial eclipse. Nothing too spectacular. These last few minutes here, you could just tell everyone was excited. And my son's expression alone when he first saw the total eclipse completely made the trip worthwhile. Taking off. You can yeah. see the moon. You can see the diamond ring. There goes. There's the diamond ring. Take off the 
there's the diamond ring. See it? Look at the clouds, look at the colors, it's like sunset, 360 degrees. A 360 degree sunset. It still doesn't hardly show up through there. The two and a half minutes that the moon had completely covered the sun went by in what seemed like was about half a minute. It was an amazing experience. I'm glad I witnessed it. I look forward to witnessing it again in seven more years. If I can say anything when it comes to doing it is have a car. If you fly to a town to watch an eclipse, rent a car because you never know where the clouds are going to be. Put the time and the investment into going to watch the eclipse just to look at clouds and not be able to move that last 90 miles, that would have, uh, that would have been a bummer. Experiencing this with uh, a friend and his family, and especially with my son, was this is something I'm going to cherish forever. Connor and Allison the Elephant, they watched the eclipse the longest. The traffic on the way home was a little less than ideal. Turns out we weren't the only ones that went to go watch the eclipse. It took us almost exactly 12 hours to get home. The total trip we covered 1,148 miles. Here we are in Iowa. This is this is probably 11 o'clock at night still sitting in stop and go traffic. We did finally make it home a little after 2.30 in the morning. It was a long trip. Well worth it though. Thank you for watching this vlog. If you like this, subscribe. I'll, uh, I'm planning on making more in the future. Until next time, happy making.